Zebra recently came out with some new pens. They're called Click Art. They brought them over from Japan. They brought all 36 colors this year in 2022. The big problem with them is they are not named. And usually Zebra's pretty good about naming them. The pens are all in Japanese, so they might be on there in Japanese, but they're not on there in English. We are going to label all these pens. I'm gonna identify the colors for you guys. They come in standard light and dark so hopefully you haven't mixed them yet and you've kept them in the pack that they came in so you can easily label them and they are super fun for bullet journaling you can use them for coloring the tips do get a little frayed after a while but they are really good for not being able to dry out they have a pretty good longevity even if they do fray it's not for a little while and they're just a lot of fun to use and i have really liked using them the colors are super vibrant they lay down super nice uh the it's not too thick of a line and it's not too thin hope you guys like this video and let's get started here we have the click art last year this one was the only one available in 12 colors so if we look at the back we see like a little product number other than that, I think they have names online as to what type they are, but I don't see any on the packaging. Uh, they say they're 0.6 millimeters bullet tip. There's so much proof. Uh, it never dries out. They're retractable markers. And on the back here, we see this is product 69812, 69012. So that's one of the easy ways says assorted ink I don't like I said I don't think I see anything that would tell us differently like what they are uh, this one is six nine seven one two so that's how you know which ones that you have but let's get going on this and we will be able to swatch all these and name all them we have the click art and we are going to just write the name of click art right here we are going to start with the standard box this is uh, standard colors this is what was available first uh, let's look at a uh, marker real fast so it comes right here it's supposed to not dry out it has this little plug that you can put in and I'm going to just take them out for right now, but I'll probably put it back in to store them. I don't know if it helps or not. Uh, they're all written in a different language in Japanese right here. So if you want to label them, I will be labeling them with my Sharpie so I will know what color it is. I'm going to label them so I'll know what color they are in the future, especially some of the more confusing ones. These ones are pretty easy. I'm actually going to use the black to write standard on these. So we'll know which ones they are. So this one is pink. Just do a little swatch of it. Then I'm gonna write pink. Like that. And then come over here and write pink on here. That's all there is to it. <laughs> oh, this one's almost dried out. This is will never dry. I've had these ones for a year. Uh oh. Okay. They might dry out a little bit, <laughs> as we can see. All right. But I don't know if they sell these individually or not. Be nice if they did. Okay. This one's orange.
This one is yellow. Very pretty colors. This blue. This one is purple. The opposite there. Oh well. <laughs> this one is brown. one's gray. This one is black. I actually really like this one for like bullet journaling. I do notice the tips wear out a little bit as you use them, but not that bad. This is our light set. That's all I could find is really light. Uh, the first few colors are a little confusing. I hope I have them all right. <laughs> to do light right here. Okay, so the first one is cherry pink. Oh, I was going to write it on there. Okay. Especially because they're so confusing. And this way, if they aren't in their packages anymore, it'd be easy, a lot easier to put them together. They also do sell them, I think, as a 24-pack and a 36-pack, I think. So. Okay, so I think this one is peach pink.
especially important to label them right after you do them. That way you know the colors. This one is salmon pink. Not the best. Okay, and this one is baby red. This one's very gold. This one is leaf green. is aqua blue. This one is pale blue. Doesn't look very pale to me. <laughs> well, whatever. <laughs> this one is lavender. And his coat go brown. Very pretty color palette. <laughs> My bad handwriting, please pardon it. <laughs> oh, All right, 
The next set that we have is going to be the dark set. And we'll just put that here. First one we have is magenta. Put these on my website. I don't know what I'm going to put them on today. I've got a birthday party to do today, but it'll probably go in the next couple weeks. I've got some stuff to catch up on. Red, black. It'll be up there eventually. And I'll leave a link below on where to get these if you want to pick them up. what happened there that stinks I must have oh when I was putting the ink on like writing the name of it it must have done that that stinks I don't know if I can do anything about that okay I have it all over my fingers too <laughs> Viridian is this one. Oh boy. Okay. Um. Oh. green on this one. Okay, this one is turquoise blue. And the next one is smoky blue.
The next one is blue black. Next one is light brown. That does not look very light. That looks like a gold or something. Oh well. Oh. And our last one is dark brown. These are all the colors. I'm sorry about this smudge. That was totally my fault. I don't know how it got there. <laughs> These are, they all look very different. I don't see too many that would be the same. I feel like they go on a little bit darker than they dry. Some of these look, I feel like they look different than when I put them down, especially like the pale blue. Now it looks paler than that, but when I put it on, it didn't. So that's one of the things. The lavender and the purple look almost similar. I'm wondering, that is weird. I wonder if I have the wrong one because the tips are really, really similar. I can see maybe online. If I have the wrong purple in my, that would be weird if I had the wrong one in there, but they do look very similar. So it's a possibility <laughs> it could be the wrong one. But other than that, I really feel like this is a good color palette. I would love to like, now that I have them all labeled, is to mix them up a little bit so that way I can put them in all the color order, but it is nice to know what all the colors are before I do that. So when I do that, I have the names of them. And let's put this little thing right here, this little click art there. <laughs> I like to make it look like the packaging, but these are, what are your favorite colors? Which one is your favorite? Do you like standard light or dark? You can pick these up at a lot of major retailers. I will have the link below. I hope you guys have a great day and we'll see you in the next video.